It's Lunar Paste release day. Hello everyone, my name is Brennan, and welcome to Brennan's Crafty Corner. So as you can see here, there are seven new colors of Lunar Paste. So these are all neon, and there's Hot Mess, which is a nice hot pink. There is Tangent, which is a nice neon orange. There's two yellows, so there's Voltage, which is a brighter, and then there's Yellow Jacket, which is more of a gold, but I'd still say it's basically yellow. On camera, it looks a little more gold, but it's a little tiny bit more yellow in real life. And then for green, we have Dart Frog, and look at that. And then I think my favorite has to be the blue, which is No Chill. And then lastly, we have Mood Ring, which is probably my second favorite, and it's a nice like neon fuchsia, purple, somewhere in that range. So let's do a couple of ways that we can use these new amazing lunar pastes and it would work with any other lunar paste you have or solar paste. So for this first technique, I'm going to use No Chill, Dart Frog, and Mood Ring. Now I think these would look absolutely amazing on white, but I think they'll look even better on black cardstock. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to take a little bit of each um, color that I just told you. So Mood Ring, Dart Frog, and No Chill. And I am just going to plop a little bit onto my glass mat. And that's Mood, that was Dart Frog. I already did Dart Frog, excuse me. I already did um, the No Chill. Oh my gosh. Okay. And now we're going to go in with our little bit of Mood Ring. So I have those down. Now I'm going to put this all to the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water. And don't come for me. I'm just going to go in with my finger because I don't care if I get a little bit messy. And we're just going to mix that all up. And I'm going to go in here with the mood ring. See, I'm learning the color names, y'all. I'm learning the color names. And now what that water is going to help do is it's just going to help to liquefy everything a little more. Oh my gosh, y'all. That looks so cool. What this, this is giving me like arcade 90s or 80s, whatever vibes or like roller rink. Okay, there's definitely enough here to do another panel. So let me grab a white piece of cardstock. We're gonna see how this comes out. See, okay. My suspicions were right. I think this does look much better on the black. It does not look bad here by any means. Also, the it's starting to get slightly muddy between the purple and the green, just because they've been mixed a little. Now, we can add a little bit with my fingers, get the residue off, bump it up. Look at that, that one's also really cool. But this one is definitely my favorite. So I'm gonna set this off to dry. You might wanna use watercolor cardstock with this technique, or just a thick, thick cardstock because I did apply a decent amount of water. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Now let's move on to the next one. So now I have the Nothing But Net stencil from Simon Hurley on another piece of black cardstock. And I also used a bit of pixie spray on the stencil just because this is a very, very delicate stencil. So I didn't want anything to go wrong. And we are gonna use Tangent, Hot Mess as well as yellow jacket. So this has a nice warm, or not, they're warm hot colors, whatever. Um, I, I always forget if it's like warm or hot colors, but it's warm, right? Is it, it doesn't matter. We're gonna put a nice large amount of lunar, lunar paste. Yeah, okay, I was like, wait, solar paste? No, it's lunar paste, y'all. I know this. <laughs> and now, so that was hot mess. Now we're gonna go in with tangent. I'm gonna get a nice chunk of that on there. Honestly, this is probably a little too much, but it's fine, it'll be fine. And now I'm going to go in with the yellow jacket. And we're gonna place that there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my Simon Hurley paste, one of the paste tools, and we're just gonna go down, but we're gonna shift a little. So we get almost like, not quite a blend, but kind of a blend. Okay, this is giving like highlighter 
and I'm so here for it. Actually, I did use a good amount. A little too much, but it's fine. We're just gonna make sure. Just I'm just keep doing this to like blend it a little more. And I think that is good. So we're gonna peel and reveal. Would you look at that? That looks so cool. Once again, this like has such an arcade vibe to it. Um, and yeah, I just love how this came out as well. Just so neon and so much fun. You know what? This is going to be a two for technique because look at all that paste on here still. So we're just going to swipe it on. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. So I'm just doing this very thinly. I'm almost like putting it down and then scraping it back up. We might even be able to get another panel, but we're going to leave it just with this. But it's almost like neon pastel when I scrape it back like that and take up most of the paste. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, I might, I don't know if I like this on white or black more. But look at how cool that is. On camera, you can see, or in person, you can see the color variation a little more. This is, you can definitely tell between the yellow and orange. In camera, you can as much, but this still looks so cool, and I cannot wait to use this panel. Love it. Okay, we're, 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 we're getting out another panel. I, I can't waste this. It's not going to be like a full panel, I don't think. Okay, there's like a tiny little bit left on there that I'm like trying to get off. But hey, at least it's not going to total waste. Do it. Let's try to scrape this off. <laughs> Look at me, just not. Ref I'm refusing to waste it. Okay, not like a full panel, but still definitely something that you could work with. You could probably. I would for this. I was thinking Halloween. Maybe put a ghost right here, and bam, another card background. Don't have an outro, so bye everyone. Happy crafting. You can just imagine me waving bye to you. Bye. <laughs>